Uh, thanks, guys. My name is Rich Baker, and I'm neither of those things. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm, I'm out of town, but when I, I left the house, I left the TV on so the cats wouldn't be bored. <laughs> what? <laughs> That was not, a, she's not like a funny person. That wasn't an ironic text. She meant that. And uh, I was just, I really wanted to come downstairs and see on the TV some like special cat channel that she had found. <laughs> like Law and Order Special Kittens Unit. <laughs> oh God, died from choking on his own fur. <laughs> what do you think, Ice-T? Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> and one time I went to a Burger King drive through and I knew it was gonna be a bad experience because as soon as I pulled up, the lady's talking to the squawk box and she goes, for here to go. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I know how to talk to this person, slowly. <laughs> My roommate's in the car, we order two Whoppers, one with mustard for me, one with mayonnaise for him. I thought that was pretty easy. <laughs> and we get to the, she gives me a bag with two burgers in it. We're good so far. First one has a, on the wrapper, it has a, a, an M written on it to differentiate between mayonnaise and mustard. Uh, if I ever get launched into space, uh, I would insist that my co-pilot be Jamaican. So that way it increases the odds of him saying, Houston, we have no problem. <laughs> But I'm not like a proselytizing being. Like, I don't care what you eat. You eat whatever you want. I'm just choosing that. It's not like I'm like standing on the side of the road like preaching veganism. I don't have a sign that says Kale 316 or anything like that. <laughs> I, told, uh, I told my parents I was vegan, and my dad was like, ooh, son, that's a lot of information. I mean, you'll meet the right girl someday. <laughs> uh, but I don't have anything against Lactose. I'm not a lactosist or anything. And I feel that in the grocery aisle, the lactose milk and the lactose free should be in separate but equal containers. That's all I'm saying. It's, just, it's like it's not. You're not entering some Broadway show. You know, it's Burger King. You're getting what you pay for. It's, you don't expect to walk in and all of a sudden there's dancers and Joel Gray from cabarets like, "Welcome to Burger King. You're in for a treat." We've got two bonds and flame broiled meat. I'm gonna start my own website called christianswingers.com because I think Christians are tired of swinging with couples from other religions. Are you tired of going out on a swing date and who knows what you're gonna get? Could be a Muslim. <laughs> christianswingers.com you know, the Lord just told me that we needed to swing with other Christian couples because that's the way Jesus would want it. <laughs> I'm being paranoid. It is going to be fine. So I sit on that, I get on the train. I sit, I'm in a car all to myself. I'm like, look, no one's here, no problem. Very next stop. Ten, how shall I put it, big scary black guys get on. <laughs> and it... It didn't matter that they were 10 scary black guys. They could have been 10 Girl Scouts. Uh, anyone who's comfortable riding the green line at one o'clock in the morning, I'm scared of. So that's, I'm just gonna put that out there. And I'm sitting uh, on this side and, and they're kind of over here. And I'm like, why would they care about me? Why would they even mess with me? So I just kind of keep to myself, I'm right here. And like within seconds, I hear someone go, hey man, what you doing on this train? Maybe he's not talking to me. <laughs> Could happen. So I'm sitting and I've got my head, I'm staring a hole at the floor. And I'm just, I'm down like this, like, oh, I'm sorry, am I reminding you of the money you lost in Blockbuster stock? I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> can't, I can't hide it, folks, it's, it's right there. So I'm staring at the floor and I'm like, if I ignore him, maybe, he just will let it go, and that'll be that. And then I, I see shoes <laughs> enter my field of vision, and uh, he repeats, hey man, what you doing on his train? And I thought, what are the odds he wants to borrow a pen?
Now, if you're familiar with biology, all mammals have a fight or flight thing going on. When we, get, when we feel like threatened, our, 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 our nerves go fight or flight. And I'm not gonna fight 10 black guys. Uh, I'm not gonna fight anyone, let's be honest. I'm a comedian, I don't know how to throw a punch. But uh, I'm not gonna fly anywhere because I'm in a small enclosed train. And if I get off that train, then I'm just in the bad neighborhood. So I didn't think that would up my chances. <laughs> so I'm panicking to myself and I think, uh, okay, Rich, what are your options? What do we have? What weapons do we have at our disposal? And I said, I'm an actor. So I proceeded to feign acting retarded. I'm not proud of it. <laughs> what you doing on this train? Well, uh, my dog's name is Lollipop. <laughs> Trains go choo-choo. And he looks back at his friends and goes, oh, hell no. <laughs> Here's the kicker. Turns out they were 10 really nice guys. And they all gathered around me and they go, oh, man, you shouldn't be on this train by yourself. <laughs> And then they very nicely volunteered to escort me all the way down the green line to make sure I was safe. <laughs> so now I'm the racist who's acting retarded. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much. My name is Rich Baker. That's my time.